Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today my uh, today my name is Brent. Yes, it still is Brent. We are on episode 298 of the death walkthrough. Um, we we are here in the candy corn farm um, and we made it there last time. So if you haven't checked out last episode, you should. We are heading into the candy corn silo um, and yeah, we'll see what's in there. Um, so yeah, hopefully nothing too bad. Um, hopefully, maybe. What the heck? What? What? I am. I am so confused at what. Oh, oh, uh, what? What? What the heck? Please don't do that again. This is not how. This is not what it's meant to be. But do we want to play a game of Choo Choo Zoo? Sure. Um, I don't actually know how to play this game at all. Um, um, I I don't know how to play this game. Like I really don't. I really really don't. Oh, we we did it. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, we're just gonna close out. Um, what the heck? Oh, we did it! We did have to play the game. We had to play the game to get through. Makes sense, I guess. Um, that's a very strange bug. Please fix that. <laughs> All right, apple brutals. <laughs> that is such. That's probably the weirdest start to one of these death walkthrough videos that I've ever had to do. Like ever, ever. Um, but yeah, welcome. I'll be back in just a little bit. Right, I am back. We are killing, hopefully. Um, we should be at least. Theoretically. Theoretically. Yes, we are. Nice. These guys are not too bad. Not too difficult at all. Um, just, you know, we boost as well, which is fantastic. It seems they're using the, um, the boost from, like, Celestia, which is cool. Abrica Brutal. <gasps> That's a really cool badge. That's a really, really cool badge. I really want that one. Abrica Brutal. It's super cool. Super cool. Oh, look, our quest arrow's broken. We got the Brutalizer badge. Our quest arrow's broken. That's great. I am going to have to relog in a sec. But here, we have some green apple brutals, which, again, we've already fought. So, um, I'll be back in just a little bit. Right, I am back again. And we are killing, this time with Lulu, because we got a Shadow Pip um, pretty quickly, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, this will for sure kill, because they are life. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're absolutely toast. These guys are definitely toasted brutals right now. Right now. Toasted green apple brutals. I like the sound of that. Sounds good. Right. Let's hit up. I also feel like I need to sneeze. I've been feeling like I've needed to sneeze since I started this episode. And it hasn't happened yet. So I'm really expecting it to happen anytime soon. That is... This is going to be fun. Um, right. A double boss here. Interesting. Slightly petrified. Um, not going to lie. Not gonna lie, slightly worried here. Um, luckily, we can just add another potent in, and hopefully we should be good. Do we have cleanse in? Do we have cleanse? We, we do have cleanse, so that's good. We should be fine. They are myth and fire, so that's stuns and stuff. Stuns and dots, I guess. Oh, man, I, it's just getting so much worse. Like, it really feels like I have to sneeze, but it's just not going to. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. Oh, no. Like, it's when you have, like, the tingling right on the top of your nose, and you just know that you need to sneeze really soon, but it just won't come. Oh, here it comes. No, nope, this is not coming yet. Not yet. Not yet. It feels like it, it's, it's so close. I don't want to, like, start sneezing in the middle of this episode either. Isn't probably not the best idea. Um, so if I start dying and sneezing, you, you'll know why. It's because I've had to for five million years. Or if there's just a bit where I'm not talking, that's probably why. Probably why I'm just sneezing and I've somehow remembered to mute my mic. Um, so yeah, that's that's fun. Mystic Colossus, what a spell! What a spell! It's great. It is fantastic. Man, I hate hay fever. I don't really get bad hay fever. I can't imagine what it's like to have actually bad hay fever, um, because just mild that I have at the moment is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. 
so bad and it's always at the start of this of december when i get it i don't know what it is but like december is the only month that i have like some form of you know hay feverish type sort of stuff and um any other month it's like nah i don't exist but in december it's like yes you exist it's so frustrating so frustrating still haven't sneezed either we're, we're just having a you know we're, we're making sure i sneeze eventually by the end of this episode because otherwise i'm going to be going into next episode and still wanting to sneeze um and possibly the one after that so that'll be fun right let's blade and then hit i think is probably the best idea if we get a lulu or a shadow pip for a lulu that would be fantastic um hopefully Um, we might even get get that now because we are stunned for a round, so that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I was gonna say, better not be Earthquake. I hate Cyclops so much because it's kind of like a troll Earthquake. It has the same starting effect, same grumbling sound, and like same camera angle at the start as well. And it, it's I think it's slightly longer, so it's so annoying, so annoying. Um. Oh, there's the sneeze. Please mute that, Brent. That would be fantastic. Um, there we go. It happened, finally. Feels so much better now. That was the sneeze of the day. Lovely. I've actually been sneezing all day. It's not good. It's really not good. Um, but hey, that was the sneeze for now. Maybe we'll need to do another one later. <laughs> and it feels like we might need to do another one later. Oh, no. I don't know how this episode has just become me talking about sneezes for, what, like five minutes? It's fantastic, I guess. I guess that's the quality content you, you enjoy here. Oh, look. Burning Rampage. Wow. What a spell. What a spell. It's not even going to do any damage to me because... Well, I did 85, but it's not going to do a lot of damage because we're going to be hitting now with a Shadow Pip. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just as well they stunned. They really sealed their own death with that stun, honestly. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it. That was their mistake. Their grave mistake that they made very very grave so grave that it will in fact send them to the grave that was quite a good one you have to admit that was quite good quite good crit blade faint faint gg hopefully oh not quite gg so close so close but we can um scarecrow next so it's okay so it's okay we can scarecrow they have like no health this is what a blood bat okay they love blood bat man they love using the low pip spells. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Gotta give them some love, you know, because we don't see them outside of Wizard City ever. So, it makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Right, hopefully this can kill. That would be fantastic. Please. Please kill. Please. I believe. Yeah, easy kill. Easy peasy. We should have just done that to start with. Why is Lulu so bad? Like, seriously. Why? Why? <laughs> why is that a thing? I don't understand. That was a lot. And we leveled up. Nice. Nice. Are we going the right way? We are. We are. I'm going to have to quickly go to character screen and back out in just a sec. Just to fix a stupid issue of quest arrow that seemed to break after I did the game. Because we had to be doing the choo choo zoo or whatever it was called. Whatever it was called. Let's quickly um just quit and, and hop back in real fast. You can you can bear with me for five seconds, right? Surely you can. There we go. Nice. That was probably the quickest relog that you have ever ever seen. There we go. And it's fixed. Nice. Right. I don't know what we got from that fight. Never gonna know. Um so yeah, we're just gonna go and talk to Farmer Esther. And see what she has to say this time. Ah, now I understand. Nana uses the candy corn for the gummies because the corn grows faster than gumdrop or black licorice trees. More corn means more gummies, means more mining and lumberjacking, means more products, means more delight to send it to the spiral. Well, yeah, but also the candy corn syrup works better with this secret ingredient they make in the hothouse back there. Whatever that is. Now, did you fix my pest problem, partner? Good. But to keep them away, I need to set the traps. So one last favor, yeah? I have many traps, but I need you to get the bed for them. There is one thing that the brutus out of almonds like even more than candy corn. Spit. The sweet, sweet spit of the chocolate mousse. Defeat the mousse, get the spit, set the traps, 
and I open the factory. Get it to the up. Hmm. Right. I don't like this quest, but I will be back once I've defeated some chocolate moose and collected some of their spit. I don't know how defeating them will get that, but hey, that's fine. We'll we'll do it anyway. Right. I am back. We managed to collect the spit. It wasn't too difficult. Um. Yeah, we just have to go to the places. That's cool. Um, wasn't too difficult. Only had to defeat two, two fights of them, so four. Um, which wasn't too bad for three. So, yeah, nice. Basically, 100% drop rate is what I experienced. It could be different for other people, but not too bad. The fights did take quite significantly long because they are death and I didn't use prisms and they kept weaknessing me and stuff. It was not fun. Not fun at all. Hey, I could have I could have done something about it, but I chose not to because I am not using the Goblet spell because it's bad and I don't like it. Um, it's a good spell, but I just don't like it. Um, yeah, right. Last trap, maybe? Yeah, last trap. Last trap. Here we go. Kabam. Lovely. Love to see it. Let's go talk to the farmer again. Hopefully, we can go and see what is in the back because that is spicy. Danke, stranger. Now you can help me with my cotton candy crops. I kid, I kid. Actually, I did not kid. But your friend, she makes the noise like the angry bull. Ugh. Yeah, that is the one. So instead, let us hop and two. Here is the key to the factory. I'm not even supposed to have cotton candy anyway. But if you wanted to help me with it on the, as they say, down low, without Nana knowing I am planting anything but her precious candy corn. Ugh, play on the farm later. Right now, let us find out what Nana's doing with these gummies. Let us actually start with the hothouse. Corporate espiomancy, because that's a good thing. That's how we get side quests. That is a perfect way to do side quests. Jeez, very integrated. Holy moly, kings are stepping up their game with the side quests. As much as we need to see what is in the factory, I think now we shall start here. Esther said the silo is where the secret ingredient is made. It is then piped into the factory itself. This must be the sourizing agent we're looking for. So let us go in there and see what it is. Yep, sounds like a great plan. Let's go in there and see what it is. Makes complete sense. Complete sense. Surely there's nothing in here in the hothouse. What would be in the hothouse? Let me guess we have to play another game of... Choo Choo Zoo or something stupid. Right? Okay, good. We can actually go in here. Nice. Halt. This place is off limits to valued customers. Please exit through the gift shop. Error. Gift shop not yet constructed. We will have to disable security to find the secret ingredient to top this silo. Um, okay, Greta, just walk into the wall. Fair enough. Right, I'll be back once I've defeated these Watchmen Golems that are rank 17 ice. Right, I am back. We are killing, hopefully, maybe. Did that kill? Yeah, it did. Nice. GG. Easy peasy. They didn't even shield, which was good. But I'm expecting them to be able to shield. Wunderbar. Onward and upward. Right, onward and upward. Obviously, upwards is where we're going. So we are going to go upwards. What in the name of bubblegum are you doing here? Well, uh, inspection? Oh, well, this is the hothouse, the source of the secret gummy ingredient which is essential to the happiness. Wait, wait, you did not sing the official inspector song. And you noticed. Very well done. Top marks. Uh, uh-huh. I do not think you are the inspectors. I think you are the witches. Get them! Yep, definitely the witches. Right, hazmat hamsters again. We've, we've fought these guys before. And I'll fight them again. But I'll be back in just a bit once I have. Right, I am back. We are killing, luckily. We have two blades. I did not find um, Scarecrow for ages. Absolutely ages. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here we go. Lovely wee little kill there. Not too bad. Like I said last time, they're not too hard at all. All right, hamster. What is going on here? What is the secret ingredient? I cannot say. And I mean that literally. Nana's Preston Litigation Division cast upon me a spell of non-disclosure. Watch. The secret ingredient is... The secret ingredient is love. <laughs> it is not love. It is actually quite repulsive, but as you can see, I cannot say. 
Oh, fine. We will just see it for ourselves. Come visit. That pipe to the factory is higher up. Keep going. Yep. Yep. I mean, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. You know, if you want to know exactly what it is. Hmm, nothing here. That is rather anticlimactic. Hopefully the final floor is more interesting. One would hope that the final floor is more interesting. It's as if they were like, you know what? We're just going to have another fight. But actually, we're not going to have another fight. What is this? This cannot be. It is impossible. But there is nothing else here, so it must be it. The source of the secret ingredient is... <laughs> Gobblers. They are sweating gobblers then piping that sweat over into the factory and ugh why visit we need proof of this use photomancy to take a picture of these gobblers yikes that's a um that's a thing could you let us out of here it's just about lunch time there is a lever over there maybe that will release them hmm interesting hmm interesting that did it. The gobblers have been dumped down to the lower floor. We must find them. Maybe they know why this is happening. Uh-huh. So now we go downstairs. Makes complete sense. Why do they store them right at the top? I don't understand that. Hello. What were you all doing back there? Waiting for lunch. No, I meant why were you in the sweat boxes? What do they want from you? Sweat? Now where's my lunch? Do you have it? Give me my lunch. Oh no, the gobblers have gone hangry. Watch out, visit. Uh-oh. Right, we're going to do this. Um, we have Mikey, Augustus, Charlie, <laughs> and Veruca. Hmm, interesting names. If anybody knows the reference, um, put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, let's do these. Obviously, just gobblers. Not too bad. So many gobblers. So many gobblers. Um, there's a balance of fire, a storm, a death... So that's fun. That is fun. Hopefully nothing too spooky comes from any of them. That would be not fun. It would be 0 out of 10, but we will find out very soon. Please don't be a death shield. Okay, good. That is fantastic. I know this won't be a death shield. Because he would never death shield. Nor would this man's. Their, their um, casting animation sound i should say is kind of weird kind of weird um they don't have that much health at all so we're just gonna hit it probably won't kill the death um but the others should be gone we fizzled wow first fizzle that wasn't a dispel fizzle crazy man uh-oh uh-oh spaghetti oh Oh, they're all doing natural attacks here. It's their time. They're like, yes, it is our time to all hit you at once with the exact same spell. Makes sense. He even changed color, you see. Oh, and this one lost its hair. That's pretty cool. Had a quick haircut while it was casting itself. Makes complete sense. Very, very cool. Good job, King's Isle. Good job. Nice work. Keep it up. Ooh, Link. That's spicy. That's a little bit spicy. That'll definitely heal you so much. So much health. Wow. 75. Congratulations, Gobbler. You're so good. I'm so proud of you. You really just got good. I really don't want to hit with a Ship of Fools. I just really don't. It's only good for finishing off, not actually hitting with one blade and killing. So we're going to go and see what we get next time. Hopefully we get a enchant. Otherwise, we will Ship of Fools, I guess. Um, especially if we don't get a blade. That would be very bad. Oh. We're going for some more natural attacks here. Fair enough. Makes sense. Um, that was a little bit hurt. These natural attacks are actually kind of... Kind of hurtful. I don't like them. This could do a bit. Yep, that did just a little bit. 500, sorry. Not 5,000. Imagine 5,000. That's literally my whole health. I would have been dead. But I'm not, so that's good. What is this? Oh, natural attack. Of course. Of course it is. Makes complete sense. Right, can we hit? Yes, we can. Good. Scarecrow this time. Not Lulu, Scarecrow. Boring old Scarecrow, I know. I apologize. I apologize, but it has to happen sometimes. Here we go. 
Let's see if this kills. It probably should. It should kill the death as well, I would say. Nope, did not kill the death. He is way too good. Way too good. But um, the others are completely dead. Absolutely completely dead. By a long shot. An absolute long shot. If we have a faint, I might put on that death and just hit again with something. Um, we will see, though. We will see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Ooh, that's tasty. That is some tasty. Is that a... Ooh, that is very tasty. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We get a 30 and a 70 for free. That's fantastic. He really just played himself there, didn't he? Yep, because these stack. Otherwise, it would have not been stackable. But it is. So that's cool. But don't, don't be a fortify. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Do not mind about that. Um, let's go for a Lulu this time. Lulu this time. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it kills. If not, we'll just follow up with his ship and fools because that's that's our whole strategy here. That is literally the entirety of our strategy. Crit, of course. And hopefully we kill. Please, please. Yeah, easy peasy. Easy peasy. GG. GG, we did it. We did it. Look at me go. Tired now. Good, that is good. There are probably some sweets outside. Why do we not just go up there so we can talk? I've got a toffee bean. That's interesting. I don't think I have had I don't think I've gotten too many of those. Um that's a caramel reagent. Um used for crafting things and stuff, I guess. Um right, Greta, hello. I have been speaking with our gobbler friends and I've learned something. <laughs> They can sleep standing up, which is utterly unhelpful information. We need to know why Nana is using their sweat to make the gummies. Which means we must now go into the factory itself. The door is round the other side. We can use Esther's key to get in. Right, we are going to do that next time. Um, because for now, we're going to leave. We're going to go like the gobblers and have a wee little bit of a nap. Well, I'm not. I'm going to be recording the next episode. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.